Lindsay Giolito, two very proud parents from California. And between us is the reason why Lucas Giolito, number one draft pick by the Nats this year. Hey, welcome, buddy. Great to see right. you. And now we finally get to meet you in person. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations, nice man. What do you think of this ballpark and what you're seeing here tonight? Unbelievable ballpark, ballpark unbelievable fans. It's great to be here. Now you signed your contract. You got that out of the way. Now it's just get that elbow better. Yep. How's it feeling? It's feeling really good. Uh, all my uh, long toss and uh, flat ground sessions are feeling really good. So looking forward to uh, pitching again soon. What's the next step? Getting back on the mound, maybe yeah. throwing aside? Yeah, next step will probably be uh, getting out to uh, Florida, doing bullpens and uh, feeling it out. Very cool. That is outstanding. And of course, the you know the arm situation earlier in the year. Nats don't seem to be concerned about that at all because they like the makeup of what you are all about. What was your reaction when you heard that Washington was the team? It was unbelievable. I mean, I was just sitting on the couch with my family. Uh, didn't really know what was going to happen that day. And then the uh, commissioner called my name with the Nationals pick. It was uh, one of the best feelings of my life. And uh, of course, a couple of pretty good arms on this staff right now. It is an organization that has emphasized pitching in their drafts over the last couple of years. So as happy as you might be, I think the organization is equally as happy, maybe more, that you're part of this mix now because, I mean, there's a lot of opportunity in this organization. Yeah, I mean, it's it's such a great up-and-coming organization. Obviously, you see uh, Det Wilder pitching right now and uh, guys like Strasburg and Gio and uh, uh, Zimmerman. Uh, it's, it's the pitching's unreal. And, and uh, we'll see uh, where I can go. <laughs> well, the pitching similar to you. You're a power guy. Fastball in the upper 90s. You've touched 100 a couple of times. I mean, you fit right in. Have you talked to any of these guys like Strasburg? Yeah, yeah I've, I've had to. Uh, I've had the opportunity to have a little conversations with a few of them, and I haven't really gotten a chance to talk pitching yet. But uh, hopefully, I'll be able to do that soon. Lucas Giolito, Nats number one pick, 16th overall, out of Harvard Westlake High School in California. 6'6", 230, are you still growing? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm actually around 240 now. So, wow. yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens when I say into that. Know, a lot of <laughs> us have uh, gained 10 pounds since the draft. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens once I get into that Florida heat. I might drop a few pounds, yeah. but I'll be working hard to try and put some muscle on, too. You know, first thing when I saw you today, I know it was, what was it, about a month ago when you were here against the Yankees, and I got to meet you behind the cage, and you do look like you've filled out a little bit. I know that's only been... A couple of weeks ago, but you look different. Yeah, I, I've been working hard all summer and uh, physical therapy and everything to get stronger and get bigger. By the way, happy birthday three days late. Oh, uh, yeah, you just thank turned you. 18 on the <laughs> yep, 14th. Yep. Two balls and two strikes. Jonathan Nees facing Ross Detweiler here, and he will defensively chop it off to the left side. Through five innings tonight, Detweiler, 56 pitches, 42 strikes. You're 18. Bryce Harper's 19. Can you see yourself playing here in a year? Oh man, I, I really, that's kind of, that's kind of a tough one, but uh, we'll see what I can do. I, I'll work hard every day, of course, but oh man, I don't know if I can get here like Harper did. I, I mean, mentally put yourself <laughs> in his shoes, right? That's a year away. Yeah. He's playing in the big leagues every day, 19 years old. I mean, yeah. That's just crazy, but you know, when you have a big fastball like you, guys like you move through systems fast. You show you can throw strikes, show you're healthy. You'll be here sooner than you can think. Yeah, that's 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 basically my plan. I'll try to throw everything for strikes and uh, really be competitive out there and make my way through the system. Ross Detweiler doing that tonight. He has struck out the pitcher twice, but he only has three strikeouts tonight. So he is pitching to contact. Now you were on your way, at least thinking about going to UCLA. Uh, what? influence you to maybe go to the professional route right now yeah obviously UCLA is such a great program uh, John Savage unbelievable coach there uh, it was it was a re very tough decision uh, but coming out here visiting the park a few weeks back I believe uh, being able to meet some of the guys and see the sights it, it, it was a huge turning point I introduced Lucas to Derek Jeter behind the cage yeah. <laughs> And I told him, I said, hey, G, this guy throws 100. And his, Jeter's response was, thank goodness he's in the National League. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised Derek didn't say, well, I'll be retired by the time he's throwing 100. Here. <laughs> you never know, though. You know, no balls in one strike, and Detwater goes up and away. You had a teammate that was also going to UCLA who was drafted just ahead of you by yeah, the Padres. Max Fried with the San Diego Padres. He's, he's having a good time right now. I, I text him often and uh, kind of see how he's doing out in Arizona, and then I'll be letting him know uh, how I'm doing in Florida. Nice. One ball and one strike to Ruben Tejada, one for two tonight. 
He gets jammed severely, and Adam LaRoche is under that one. Two outs. Now, how much the fact that the Nats were in first place, getting all the play with Strasburg and Bryce Harper, you're seeing them all the highlights every night. It's a franchise obviously headed in the right direction. How much did that influence, and how happy were you when you got drafted by a team that's in first yeah, place? Yeah, definitely a huge influence. A uh, program like this that's, uh, as I said before, so up and coming, young guys, uh, you know, really talented guys and guys working really hard and playing really well together. Those are kinds of things that really push over the edge for me. Well, I would imagine a guy that was slotted to go top three, maybe first pick in the draft. Some teams backed off because of the elbow issue. You dropped down to 16, so that part might have been tough for you. But, I mean, you rebound with one of the better organizations in baseball right now. That had yeah. to be a nice... A nice yeah, in a way that that injury is really kind of a blessing in disguise, I guess you could say. Uh, being able to be in an organization like this and, uh, you know, hopefully soon enough be playing on this team uh, and winning and, you know, doing the whole thing. Ronnie Cedeno, the hitter, no balls and one strike. The base is empty, two outs. We're visiting with Lucas Giolito, 18-year-old right-handed pitcher that has drafted him. I bet you'll never think Friday the 13th is unlucky anymore. Yeah, I know. That's, the <laughs> That's pretty funny. We could talk pitching all you want. You fit in the staff as a power guy, but the, the million-dollar question is, can you hit? <laughs> I know. I mean, the, the, the pitcher, the pitching hitting on this team, I, yeah. I, I hear it's the best in baseball. That's, that's, what I, that's what I think's going on. Well, jump in the cage, young man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, Lucas, thanks for joining us, buddy. All the all best. Right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Lucas Giolito with his professional career ahead of him. Detweiler looking sharp tonight.